clap for Jesus. You may be seated. John chapter 5, verse 3. Matthew 9, verse 6. Luke 5, verse 24. So, remember our message. You rise again. It doesn't matter how long that situation has been there or lasts in your family. When Jesus appeared, know for sure that that's the end of your problem. He is older than your situation. Let's look at this brother. We all know the story about this brother. Verse 3, John 5, verse 3. Here are a great number of disabled, I mean disabled people who used to lie down. The blind, the lame, the paralyzed. Five. One was there, had been in a invalidity for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and he learned that he had been in that condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Seven, sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool. When the water is stirred, while I am trying to get in, Someone else will go down ahead of me. Verse 8. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat, and walk. Nine, at once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. Let me jump from verse 10 to 11 so that you know that he, every condition that you are going through, there are people who are happy to see you in that condition. There are people who would want to see you continue complaining and crying. Look at verse 11. This is now the question, or oh, for the sake of, you know, our understanding, let's just call it all 10 and 11. 9, 10, and 11. At once the man was cured, he picked up his mat and walked. The day on which this took place was a Sabbath. Ten. So the Jewish leader said to the man who had been healed, it is the Sabbath. The law forbids you to call your mat. Listen to his answer. This answer was not coming, you know, from, you know, someone who is, uh, who doesn't know what, you know, he was going through and what has happened to him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But he replied, the man who made me well said to me, pick up your mat and walk. In this condition, what you need at this point it's not those who can just sympathize with you. No. You need someone who can, you know, feel what, you know, you are going through. Who understand the pain. Who knows what, you know, you have been through in that condition. People of God, this book is not new to you and me. There are so many preachers who preach to you using the same message, I mean the same scripture. The book of John 5, the issue of the pool of Bethsaida. This man was in that condition for a long time. There was no hope for him again through his fellow human beings. There was no hope at all. I think the people were there looking at his condition for 38 years. 
they were just saying this man will never walk again. He will never rise from that mat and walk. Because he has no strength to go in, in that water. The condition was that whoever will be the first to jump in that water will be the one to get well. This is why they concluded, I think even the brother himself concluded that I think it is not possible for me to be healed. There were so many people around that place. Family members were there. But no one could help the brother to get back to his feet. People of God, when Jesus is involved in your life, it doesn't matter for how long that situation lasts in your life. Oh. When Jesus touched your life, because he is life, in his body there's no fault. There's no sickness. There's no weakness. Once you touch him, even to touch his clothes, the whole entire body of you will be like Jesus. I want you to learn something here. In this Pude where many people with so many problems. Now, I just want to go directly to verse 6. This man was there, I mean, was sick for 38 years. Now, verse 6 is the one, uh, the one I want to pick. When Jesus saw him lying there, he learned that he had been in this condition for a long time. Remember, there's no condition or situation other than Jesus. Take note of that point. There's no condition, there's no situation other than Jesus. Power of more than Jesus. Jesus realized that this man has been in this condition for a long time. Medically, no one can raise this man. Family members cannot help. It is only me who can raise this man. He walked towards the man. He asked him this question. Listen to this. Do you want to get well? The man was thinking that maybe this man will stand here. When it is time for me to go inside the water, the man will push me fast, fast. Not knowing that the water which was there healing them, it was Jesus himself standing before the man. So there's no need for you to jump again inside the water. I am here healing you in that water. Do you want to get well? Listen to the answer from the man. He said, sir, that is the invalid man replied. I have no one to help me into the pool. When the water is steered, while I am trying to get in, someone else will go down ahead of me. Jesus did not say, okay, I'll, I'll be here for you so that when the water is steered, then I'll throw you there. He just said, listen to this word. Remember the word on Sunday, Talita come. Here Jesus said, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Get up, pick up your mat and go. This is the man who, who could not even raise his hand. This is the man who could not even turn by himself. But the word from Jesus is life. Because Jesus himself is life. He said, pick up your mat, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Here the Bible says that immediately, I'm just putting this word, so that uh, uh, although the Bible says that once, at once the man was cured, he picked up his mat and walked. He will rise again. Your business will rise again. Amen. Don't worry. I know that sometimes we depend on people. There are people that we love so much. There are people that we treasure. There are people that we think these are the people who can help me. These are the people who can push me forward. And at the end of the day, you discover that there is no one. Jesus is there. You will rise. You will walk again. 
Your marriage will come back to life. Your business will come back to life. What you need is Jesus to appear where you are in that condition. Stop you not calling your fellow human beings. You have tried. You have borrowed, over borrowed. The person that you say is your friend is the one now you know is disturbing you. Jesus is the man who understands your pain. Jesus is what? Is the man who understands your pain, what you are going through. Remember, he walked towards that man. Everyone was busy thinking about his own problem. It is only Jesus who has no problem. He said, pick up your mat and go. The authority started now questioning his healing. How come? Why? This is, a, you know, a Sabbath. No one is allowed to do what he has done. You, who has done this to you? The man said, the man who, who healed me said, pick up your mat and do what? That's what I know, and I'm okay. Eh? Do you want me to go back to that condition? In the name of keeping your law? No. No one understands what you are going through apart from Jesus. That girl was completely dead. People were crying, wailing all over the house. The man who doesn't know how to fail. The man who has no fear walked in and the girl was lying down lifeless. He looked at the girl. People were crying. He said, no, she's not dead. She's sleeping. He said, no, he doesn't know that he, <laughs> the girl is dead. He said, no, the girl is what? Just a word. Even the Bible that we preach today, if Jesus is not involved by his power, we are preaching history. Because when Jesus appeared, life appeared. Revival appeared. Restoration appeared. He is a miracle worker. He said, Talita, come. And the girl came back to life. Everyone was like, no, we have never seen this. Yes, it's true. Because you depend on the history, not the reality, which brought the history you are following. The man was instantly cured and he began to what? Walk. 38 years. Is he a joke? Ah, even one year is a big problem. What more 38 years? Now I've punished Yauma. Jesus is the man that you need in your condition. It doesn't matter for how long that situation has been there in that family. Whether it, it is poverty, sickness, failure, marry and remarry, if you allow Jesus to enter your family, that is the end of that problem. You marry again. You rise again. You make it in life. That is Jesus. No, in Congo, I was that is Jesus. Yes, you rise again. Even in that sickness, you rise again. You come back to life. And people will start questioning you to say, How come we thought this is the end of you? Now we can see you again kicking counting money, doing things. How? Just say, Jesus said, rise and walk. That's what the man said. It's never too late, people of God. Don't trust, you know, what you think this is the way to go. The power of people that you trust. Every human being has got, you know, a weakness. Every human being has got a problem. Only Jesus. He has no, no fault, no problem. If you allow him to walk in, in your life and you look at him and say, ah, this is Jesus, you can even smile. No matter how much money are you owing those people, you can smile. You pay all and you continue living. You, you start now be the one to lend money to those who used to be, you know, lending money to you. That is the way Jesus works. The problem is that we trust this mind more than the one who gives us this mind. Don't trust anything. 
This man was disappointed. He was lying there. And people were questioning him the day he got healed. How come? Your life is in him. If you live outside Jesus, there's no life again. Because of time, you go and read Matthew 9, verse 5 and 6. It's the same thing that you find there. Praise the Lord. Mm, it's the same thing. Even Luke 5, verse 24. You find that Jesus is the only one. You know he said, Talitakom. Here he said, pick up your mat. I mean, get up and pick your, your mat. Is it easy? It is easy, you know, to say, I have forgiven you. It is not easy to raise a paralyzed man to come back to life. What you are going through, the mechanic of your life is Jesus. Remember the issue of that woman, the woman with the issue of blood. She was bleeding for 12 years and she spent all that she had. The day this woman encountered Jesus, the bleeding stopped. There is no expert over your life. No. Even if you say you are a professor, you are a human, you have got a weakness. You are not perfect. What you can do is what is not natural. What is spiritual cannot be handled by your qualifications. This is why even if you are a doctor, you are a nurse, you are a clinic officer, you are a human being. Spiritual issues cannot be handled by your, your career. God Almighty is all. This is why when you go to the hospital, the doctor will tell you that in this condition, there's nothing that we can do. Because they are human beings. They have tried their level best. Don't lose hope. What you need is Jesus. In that hospital where you are, if you are watching me, remember what you need is Jesus. Doctor can treat, but the healer is Jesus. In your marriage, where you are going through a lot of problems, all of us, we are facing the same problem. But because we are depending totally on Jesus, this is why you can see me standing here like someone who has no problem. And yet, I have my own problems. But because of Jesus in me, you may see me as someone who has no what? Problem. There is no condition other than Jesus. No. There is no condition which is other than what? Every situation that you are going through, there is a beginning. And there is what? An end to that one. It is Jesus who has no beginning and who has no what? The end. Trust him. He is the way maker. Mm. What your father, your mom cannot do, only Jesus. If your career is dead and Jesus appeared, your career will be revived. You will rise again. I say you will rise again in that career. You will count money again in that business. You will do everything that you know you are supposed to do. Any job you know God assigned in your destiny, once Jesus appeared, you rise to your feet. Ah, finish back at Chitaba. Ah, if you are a soldier, Namuchungrole Sakuta Kuita Ku soldier. If you are a prayer, Namuchungrole Sakuta Kitachan, come and kick the ball. Because he is life. Why are you complaining? You measure, your, you compare your situation to Jesus. He is older than your situation. He knows the genesis of your problem. And he's the only one who can end your what? Your problem. That girl was dead. Jesus said, Talita come. He never said, You spirit of death from the father's side, the mother's side. No, because it is life. He just said, Talita come. Ah, the girl came back to life. Everyone was like, mm, No, no. Takwa vech tachum fires mueva na vacuales. No, wanga bula mutina. Then Karamofeda in Angayamona face, quick. Oh, 
You don't understand. He is the lion of the Judah. When Daniel was thrown in that den of the lion, what happened? All the lions were just looking at Daniel like a, a father of the lions. Why Jesus was involved? Why are you scared of your situation? Ngamwa nekelomwa umepava ume. Nishina problem ya chitashani. Oh, if you know him as a, you know, a solution to your problem, you open your heart. Your heart. He is the only way. The truth and life. You can limit yourself, but you cannot limit his presence. Even if you don't like that person, it doesn't mean that you limit, you know, their destiny. No. Yesu ngai kilapabu mibuabo, but yabe ne musuri le, ebe samukuba fimo. Muamba no kumfuenso ni. But yabe ne aba na muare kelesha, eba ge saba pilot. Kwanti yesu ai kilapisa, pabu mibuabo. Are you there? Are you there? Do you believe that Jesus can do that for you? Do you believe? Ah, I don't know if you believe. Do you believe that? What is dead in your life? There is no medicine. There is no amount of money. It is only Jesus. Dry bone shall lies again. Dry bone shall lies again. Dry bones shall rise again. Dry bones shall rise.